Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial we're going to be going through conversions and also typecasting. And those both deal with the data types of your variables that you guys have been working with. And we kind of went through one of the conversion statuses, but I just want to reiterate it as well as introduce the typecasting which is directly correlated. So what I've got is I've declared two integer variables up here, a and b, which have values associated to them. What we're going to do is we're going to sum those up but we're going to convert the integer status that A and B has to a float sum of the two. All right, so bear with me if that doesn't make sense yet because it might here in a second. So basically we're taking A and B, we're summing them, and uh, we're turning the, the data type into a float so it allows the decimal places there. So let's go ahead and print that to the screen so we can see what we've done. A plus B equals, and we're going to use percent %F because we're going to show the sum value here. Let's throw in a line break there and point it to the sum with a semicolon at the end. Now go ahead and print that or run it to the screen and you'll see that we have A plus B equals 32.00000. So when we go from the integer status, which has no decimal places, to a float, we're going to see that it adds the decimal places for us. And that is what we're looking for right there. Now let's flip that example and let's go from the float value. We're going to have our integer, or our value variables up here as float values, so 20.12, sure, something like that, 12.47. And we want to display, or we want to change our data type of the sum to an integer value because when I sum them up, I don't care about these decimals, I don't care about anything after it. I just want to see that we get uh, an integer status with no decimal places. So we're going to add that. We do have to change this F to an I here because we've changed the data type of the sum. And now we're going to go ahead and run this and we should get bingo 32. So basically we're looking at 20 and 12. We get exactly what we're looking for. Now let's change this back to, f to float and this back to float and now let's print that to the screen so we should get the results of 20.12 the whole thing and uh, the 12.47 added together is 32.59 and then obviously we've got some zeros at the end of that so that's kind of the there's there's some nuances to the conversions you gotta make sure as you're writing your programs that if you do convert to one you don't lose some values that you actually needed and so you gotta stay consistent with that now what I want to introduce to you guys now is typecasting now typecasting allows you to put a temporary um, changing of the data type within a string. So in this case, um, just for this example, let's say we've got our float here and we've got it adding A. Let's say we only want to pull in 20 and we don't want to pull in the whole decimal value, but we don't want to change the actual data type of the variable because maybe we're pulling that into another part of the program and uh, you need that decimal place somewhere else. <clears throat> So essentially what we can do is we can put parentheses and then put in the, the, the type that we're looking for, the data type that we're looking for, and that is essentially what casting is, is we're put changing the data type on the fly, and uh, you'll see what it does here. So right now this thing reads is the sum variable is now equivalent to the data type A, so pulling just 20, plus B, which is pulling the float value of B because there's no there's no casting in front of it to give us 12.47 so the result should be 32.47 if you run this which is we get uh, a plus b equals 32.47 again the one on the end it depends on your operating system and you may have to truncate that yourself um, if you're looking for specifics there so that is kind of the basics to typecasting again here we could we could introduce an integer and go ahead and run this. I don't know why we'd ever put integer integer because we could just change this to an integer but uh, just to give you an example. So we get the 32 so basically it's truncating both of our variable values to an integer status on the fly without actually permanently affecting our data type up here. So keep that in mind as you guys are writing your programs the casting function of variable types and uh, becomes very helpful the larger your programs get and what you're looking to display and push out to other parts of your programs. So, with that said, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Later.